Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. Jeremiah 39, Babylon's army takes power over Jerusalem. This is how the army of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon got power over Jerusalem. In the tenth month of the ninth year that Zebuchariah had ruled Judah as king. Nebuchadnezzar army marched to attack Jerusalem. The whole army made their camp around the city. They stayed there until the ninth day of the fourth month of the eleventh year that Zedekiah had been king. On that day, Babylon soldiers broke through the walls of the city. The king of Babylon's officers came into Jerusalem. They sat at the middle gate of the city. The officers were Nigel from Shamar, an important officer called Nebo, and another important officer also called Niger. All the other officers of King of Babylon met them there. King Zedekiah of Judah and all his soldiers tried to escape when they saw them. They left the city at night. They took the path through the king's garden and went through the gate between the two walls of the city. Then they ran towards the Jordan Valley, but the soldiers of Babylon's army chased after them. They caught Zedekiah on the flatland near Jericho. They took him to King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon at Riblah in the region called Hamath. King, King Nebuchadnezzar decided to take Zedekiah was guilty. He decided how to punish Zedekiah, and he told his soldiers to kill all of Zedekiah's son while Zedekiah watched. <clears throat> Nebuchadnezzar, who also punished all the important men of Judah to death, then they cut out Zedekiah's eyes to make him blind. They tried, they tied him with chains to take him to Babylon as their prisoner. Babylon sold soldiers destroyed the king's palace with fire. They also destroyed 
the temple and the people's houses in Jerusalem. They knocked down the walls. around the city. Never could Nebuchadnezzar's guards took hold of the people who remained in Jerusalem. He sent them away as prisoners to Babylon. He also sent the people away of Judah who had joined Babylon's army, but Captain Nebuchadnezzar let some of the very poor people remain in Judah. He gave them some fields and vineyards to take care of. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon had commanded Captain Nebarzan what to do with Jerusalem. He said, Find Jeremiah and take care of him. Do not hurt him. Let him help him in any way that he asks you. So Captain Nebarzan, an important officer called Nebuchadnezzar, Niger, to the king's advisor, and all the king, Nebuchadnezzar's officers, did that. They sent some men to bring Jeremiah from the palace yard. They told Ged to take care of Jeremiah. Ged was also Alcum's and Stephan's grandson. He took Jeremiah to his home, so Jeremiah continued to live among his own people. Happy Easter, everyone. Matthew 28, 6. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. Matthew 28, 6. One of my favorite verses is Philippians 4, 13. And it said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Always remember to smile because you never know what a smile can do for someone's day. Thank you. God bless. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.